I'm Evan Leroy and this is New School Barbecue. Leroy and Lewis Barbecue is a little blue food truck off South Congress in Austin, Texas that cooks locally sourced barbecue on homemade pits. These are our recipes, methods, travels, and stories. This is New School Barbecue. Welcome back patrons to the Leroy and Lewis Kitchen where today we are talking about what gives a little bit of color to our plates, a little bit of crunch to every bite, and some much needed acidity to every bite of super fatty beef that we serve. That's right folks, today we are talking about how we make our house made pickles. To start things off, we need to get some cucumbers. And what we got here is some beautiful little gherkins. These are some medium-sized gherkins. They are also labeled quite often as pickling cucumbers. And these are perfect for making pickles. Who would have guessed? Locally sourced, fresh every week. And uh, yeah, they come out tasting great. So before we start slicing these pickles up, I've got a big old container here to which I'm going to add some garlic. Got about... 50 to 60 cloves of garlic. You could crush them, but that's a lot of garlic to crush. They'll do just fine. To that one pound of garlic, we're also gonna throw in some fresh dill. This is about two ounces. Exact ingredients are not really important in this. It's more just about adding some lovely flavor. If you add too much garlic, it's not gonna be the end of the world. If you add too much dill, I don't think you can add too much dill. So from here on out, we're gonna bust out the mandolin also known as the fingertip remover these are really great for getting really even slices so what we're going to do is pop off both ends we can save those for making relish or something like that but you don't want to have an end in your pickles and then simply enough we're just gonna go to town and as you can see these are some beautiful looking pickles Nice and thick, not too thin. We're going for about eighth of an inch here, but you can make them as thick or as thin as you like. That's all up to you. So now the long haul, the long job of slicing all of these pickles into pickles. And the reason I put the garlic and the dill at the bottom is so when we put the brine in, all the, all the flavors will move upwards as opposed to where they're on top, it may be exposed to the air and oxidize a bit, so always a good idea to throw them on bottom when you remember. large pot here we are going to add one gallon of white vinegar next we add three gallons of regular old water three to one ratio please water to vinegar and to our water and vinegar mix we're going to add about three cups of kosher salt and that's it for our bride now we're going to take this and we're going to toss it over the heat bring it up to a boil and then we're going to pour it all over our pickles now that our vinegar brine is up to a bowl, we're gonna simply just pour it all over these sliced up cucumbers. As the brine hits the bottom, it's gonna help cook and perfume all of the dill and garlic throughout these pickles. The heat from the brine is gonna soften them up. It's also gonna preserve the color. They're gonna stay nice and crunchy. And then we're gonna pop them in the fridge and once they cool down, we've got ourselves some lovely quick pickles. 
These are called uh, quick pickles, quick picks, as opposed to a lacto-fermented pickle, which can take up to a few weeks. And if you got the time and space, that's a great way to go about it. That's where you just put some cucumbers in some salty water and let the natural enzymes and bacteria from the vegetable themselves kind of work their magic. Just kind of like dry aging, it's a uh, controlled decomposition and it produces some really great flavors. But if you're in a hurry or you're in a food truck like we are, the quick pickle is a really great way to go about it. And there we have it, some beautiful pickles. And the same process works with jalapenos or any other vegetable you're trying to pickle. But I hope you guys uh, give this a try. Making your own quick pickle is super easy and it's a wonderful part of every barbecue plate. Another little pro tip is to uh, throw some paper towels on top. That way they stay nice and damp and stop the top layer from oxidizing. But yeah, so from here, we're just gonna throw a lid on, give it a label, toss it in the fridge, and as soon as it cools down, these are ready to serve.